Hello, today we have a bird cage that we're going to put together. A lot of people, uh, they order an A&E bird cage and this is the instructions that they get. Uh, not real conclusive, kind of hard to follow. So today we are going to put the cage together. These are the pieces that typically should come with your bird cage. You have the two front pieces, the front and the back. And you can tell that they're the front and the back because they're the ones that have the wheels that screw into the bottoms. It has the two side pieces. They are both uh, reversible or interchangeable, so it doesn't really matter which side you put on the left and which side you put on the right. It's more which side you want the doors, the feed doors to be on. You have the bottom grate. And as this is a play top bird cage, you will have a top grate to put underneath the catch tray of the play top. You should have, with the play top cage, two feeder trays, I'm um, sorry, two catch trays, and four seed skirts. You should also have all the stuff for the play top and a bag of nuts and the one little tool that you need to use to help put on the, the wheels. So to get started, first thing you would do is you would take a front or back panel and it's easiest if you pull it upside down and you screw them in. These cages really aren't that difficult to put together. Uh, they go together pretty well and, and simply. I'm going to just finger tighten these in so that I have to spend so much time putting them in. Now occasionally as we're putting this cage together you might see me stick out my tongue and uh, you don't have to do that to put the cage together but I think it helps. Okay after you have the, the wheels in you're going to break into your bag of screws. The tools you'll need are a Phillips screwdriver. You're going to separate the screws and the uh, other parts. There are three or four different size screws in here. We have these long ones. There's two of them with wing nuts for the plate perch that go through here and then through the bar in there. We'll cover that a little bit later. You have these medium sized screws. Okay. It's, it's going to have three medium screws for the different corresponding holes on each of the corners of the front and back panels. It has four little screws for the feeder doors. They go through the door and screw into here. And that holds the feeder cups. As well as some very small uh, set screws that will go in to hold the lock in place. So let's start by putting a couple pieces together. Now you as this is a small cage, it's easy enough to put together by yourself. However, when you get into the bigger cages, I would recommend that you have some help. Like I said, it doesn't really matter which side you put uh, in first, or which side is you place in the cage, uh, just as long as it fits what your needs are. If I was going to stick this into a uh, a certain spot, let's say near a corner, I might not want the feeder doors in that corner. I'd want to be able to get to them easily, so I'd want to put them on the outside. So that's why they're interchangeable. So I put in the three screws. On the next piece, for me it has the doors on this side. You want to make sure that you put the right side up 
As this is a play top, there is this bar here that will hold the catch tray of the play top, as well as um, bars down lower that will catch the catch or hold the catch tray of the lower uh, part of the cage. This is where it becomes useful to have more than one person. Put the screws together, sides together. Notice, and notice that I'm doing this completely without the instructions as they're really not that helpful anyway. And next we have the last, the last uh, side. This is actually the front of the cage. And it's easiest if you always go from the top to the bottom, as the top screw will hold the rest of the cage together. And I would put them, both the top screws in, and then move down to the next section. So far I haven't used any of the tools that might be needed, but that is going to change here in about five seconds, or I just come back and I tighten down my screws so that everything is nice and snug, the cage is square, and held together nicely. Okay, as we finish tightening down the screws, our cage is mostly put together. The body of it should be quite sturdy. The door, the uh, door will be in the front. We need to remember that the the main door is here for your bird. This model of cage is the. 91818 from A and E Cages. We call it the Classico at avianemporium.com. And we put in other things to go along with it. This is the tray that goes underneath the main drop. Okay, as we slide it in, there's a couple of things you need to remember is that on the front and the back it needs to rest on the bars and on the sides it needs to be under the bars. This is so that when you put in the the catch tray the catch tray slides on the bars. Okay. 